Hello, pretty dudes. Hope everyone is doing great. I'm Cameron, Blushing Foreigner, and today I'm going to do a tag. I was tagged by Rachel, who is my dear friend here on YouTube. Uh, she's Makeup Never Sleep. She's a genius. You all know her. I think we share the same subscribers, more or less. So she was tagged by Kylie, Beauty and the Blonde 91, who's another beautiful YouTuber who I adore. Uh, and it's the seven deadly sins of beauty tag. I think it originated outside of YouTube in some other format. Maybe it was a chain mail or somewhere in the blogosphere. But I thought it was fun and wanted to do it. I have it here on my iPhone. Question one, what is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive? I have many things that could qualify. I have many products that are probably between one and three dollars. But one that I haven't shown with y'all which I think is worth talking about, is this e.l.f. eyeliner brush. It's their angled eyeliner brush from their studio line. And this bad boy is three bucks. And it's a really good liner. I use it a lot. I actually used it today. And I think for three dollars, it's a great deal. My most expensive beauty item is my Tom Ford eye quad. I have this in golden mink. I'm not sure it's worth 75 bucks. I haven't reviewed this product for anyone yet, but it's nice. And I, as I've said before many times, if you're a millionaire or a billionaire, you should have this. If you're not, if you're just like me, a normal person, I don't think it's a must have. It's a nice to have, but not a must have. That's my most expensive, 75 smackers. It's kind of a lot. Next question, Wrath. What beauty product do you have a love-hate relationship with? What product has been the hardest to get? I have a love-hate relationship with Chanel with regards to their foundations. Their Vita Lumiere, I've been ranting about this for months. They discontinued my shade. They seem to be doing that a lot. They will abandon certain lines. They will discontinue certain shades. They're all over the place sometimes and I am someone who works with brands and in branding and I think it shows a lack of consistency and cohesion. Uh, I'll be so bold as to say that. I'm sure they have valid reasons for why they do what they do with their foundations, but they just sometimes strike me as grasping at straws and trying new things and one season it's this thing that's the must have and then later they've abandoned that and they're onto something new. They're changing their names, their colors, whatever. And I, I think they have such great foundations. I don't know why they're not more confident in their product. Just stick with it and stay the course. That's my rant. I'll stop with that. I'll shut my pie hole now. What product has been the hardest to get your hands on? That's easy too. That would be Laura Mercier Rose Rendezvous Illuminator, which was part of the holiday collection 2011. Everyone was talking about this. I saw tons of beautiful pictures online, on blogs, and I was probably a bit late to the party to find out about this product. So it was in early December when I tried vigilantly to track it down and buy it. And I went to Sephora and it was sold out and then I called Neiman's and I called Saks Fifth Avenue and I called Macy's and I tried everywhere to no avail. I couldn't get it. And then I go on YouTube and I read that all these people bought two and I'm like, oh, that's nice. Good for you. And I'm not going to name names or anything like that, but maybe I'll post right here. No, I'm just joking. Of course, it's totally your right to own two or ten of those Rose Rendezvous illuminators. I'm just jealous. Big time. Maybe she'll bring it back one day. I have no idea. It looked really nice. I really wanted that one. It wasn't meant to be. What are your most delicious beauty products? This is Gluttony number three. I really like these lip buffers because they have sugar crystals. And this one is by C.O. Bigelow. You can buy it at Bath & Body Works. It's got mentha, so it's a nice minty, sugary flavor. And I just kind of like pour it into my mouth. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. I just put it on my lips and then I kind of lick my lips and I have a little snack. No, it's not a snack. I'm joking. It's just nice. It And it does a good job of exfoliating. I do this almost every other day in the winter because my lips are dry and cracking, peeling, and in the morning it's a nice little treat while I'm doing my makeup. I just kind of rub it in and then I just lick it off and then that's it. Maybe that's gross. Oh well. 
Sloth, what products do you neglect due to laziness? In my beauty collection, I have a lot of false lashes, which I never ever wear. I have a full kit. I have lashes and I have an applicator. This is from Ardell for applying it. I think it works pretty well. I've only used it once. And then I have like three types of lash glue. And I have the duo glue. I have this Revlon brush on glue. I've done lashes twice in my life and yet I have a collection of many lashes and I'm just lazy. I don't have time. When I make a plan to wear false lashes on a Saturday night when I'm going out, I run out of time most of the time and then I'm just stuck with mascara. So, Lazy Bones here doesn't do enough false lashes. Pride, what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? I really enjoy a bold brazen lipstick. It just sort of gives me a little spring in my step, I think. That's one way of putting it. And the color that best achieves this would have to be Orange Flip by Revlon, part of their Moondrops line. I think I've talked about it before. It's just a bold, surprising reddish orange. It's very orange. And when people see you wearing it, I've noticed like they kind of glance at you and they think, oh, nice red lip. And then they take another look and they probably discover then that it's orange and that it's very vintage looking. I like drawing a tiny bit of attention to myself on occasion, not all the time, but when I'm feeling like, okay, now's the moment where I, where I sport a, a, a bright lip. I think that's the perfect color to give me some confidence. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Everyone is bashing this question because it has nothing to do with beauty. But that's okay. I don't really mind it. I like it because I think it's good to actually ask yourself that question. If you're like me, if you're not married yet, if you're still on the prowl. I'm not on the prowl. I have a wonderful boyfriend. But it's a great question. I mean, you should sort of have a criteria perhaps. I think we all do anyways, but the quality I look for the most, I believe, is compassion. Rachel gave a similar answer. She said, I think, em empathy and sympathy. But I think if you have compassion, you have many things flowing from that position. That's your starting point. You're going to have integrity and a good heart and sensitivity and hopefully be confident if you're compassionate to yourself at the same time. So I really like that in another person. I think it's because I'm a sensitive person by nature too. And people who don't exhibit compassion, I'm just thinking to myself, wow, like how do you get by in this world? You just sometimes want to like knock on their chest and be like, is there anything in there? Is there an echo? I really require compassion in just not only my boyfriend or husband, but loved ones in general, or my friends. It's important. That was really serious all of a sudden, I'm sorry. Envy, what items would you most like to receive as a gift? That's a really tough question because I've never really thought about that. It's not like someone's knocking on my door saying, can I buy you a gift of beauty? So I really don't know. But if a sultan or a tycoon or some uber rich person really wanted to, had to buy me a beauty gift, I would ask for Le Metier de Beauté Kaleidoscopes. Those look really nice. I've been eyeing those. I don't own any. They look a little pricey. So that's a good gift. Um, but if it was a normal person who had to buy me a gift, I. I think nail polishes are nice because I don't own a lot of nail colors and it's just one of those low priority makeup items but if someone else had a, a color that they loved and wanted to share I think that could be a, a great gift so but I'm not like I hate that question because it sounds like I'm asking for gifts I would never ever do that I don't want Thank you for watching. You guys, I have some shoes to share with you. I have my vest on today and this little like guitar. I was told I look like Jimi Hendrix today at work, but I'll take it. I mean, he's pretty freaking cool. I have these shoes, you guys.
They are amazing. They're Oxfords and they're sparkles. I mean, these are like two of my favorite things. They're so fun. I wore them today with my Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix vest and I was rocking it. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing fantastic and I'll see you next time. Bye.